Welcome back friends, Mark here. So today I'm excited to be in the new area here in my shop. What do you think about the new backdrop behind me? It's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I put a lot of hard work into it and I'm excited the way that it turned out. So if you wanna see the video, how I built this, I will have a link down below where you can see all the material that I use, the building material, and the tools as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be looking at a situation that I looked at about 10 months ago, and that's drilling overhead into concrete and then being table one compliant for silica dust. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a new tool that I use that I think is an improved version from what I had in the past. So let's get started, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's take a look above this suspended ceiling. This is in a commercial building and we have some one inch copper line. It's a water line right there. The copper line is sitting right on top of the suspended ceiling. There's some anchors you can see that had pulled out from the ceiling up there. And the water line was lucky that nothing broke. So it's dropping down about probably 20 inches or so. So I'll show you how I reinforce this with some new anchors in the concrete. So I want to show you right now the setup that I had 10 months ago when I did the drilling overhead in the concrete. So the first thing is this, is I believe it's called a dust route or something like that. It hooks up to your vacuum. Let me show you a closer look. So if you have a HEPA vacuum, the end goes right there. And then this end right here really causes a lot of suction next to like a wall or up in a ceiling. And this area right here is what pulls the dust in through a little hole right there. And then this material right here, I can't think of what it's called offhand, but that will flex with your drill bit. So if you have a larger drill bit, it will expand with that. But that just helps to encapsulate the dust and keeping it within this right here. So the one thing with this is I had to bring a HEPA vacuum. And the one that I have, it's really a great vacuum that I keep in my shop. Let me show you. So this <laughs> right here, this is my Milwaukee eight gallon dust extractor. This is a HEPA vacuum right here. It really works awesome for all my power tools in here. That's how I keep my dust down. So the project I had involved drilling overhead just for one day and to bring all your tools to a job site, this right here takes up quite a bit of space either in the back of your truck or the bed of your truck or an SUV like I have. All right, so today I want to show you the Milwaukee one inch SDS plus rotary hammer. So I'm using a five amp hour battery in here. And then this right here works really well with this shroud system, but I'm going to show you a portable system that requires no electricity. It runs right out this battery. And that is this right here, the hammer vac. So check this out. This makes it all in one unit. You can see the rotary hammer clips into this right here. You can hear how it locks in place. Then if you want to unlock it, you push this button right here. And from what I've seen, it's very secure. Once that's locked in place, it's not going anywhere. So check this out when I run it. You'll hear the vacuum run and then it'll continue to run for just a little bit. And then there is a automatic dust cleaner. You'll hear it make three wraps. So what that's doing is it's shaking out the dust off the filter. So listen to this. Okay. So then what you can do is you, when you're done with all your drilling or when this starts to get full, you can take this off and you can, there's a port on there. I'll show you right here. All right, so right here is a port. So you can hook your HEPA vacuum and extract the dust from that, or you can then shake this out like into a trash to properly dispose of it. So right here you have a couple adjustments. So let me show you what I did. 
So the drill bits I'm using are by Milwaukee right here. These are the four cutter solid carbide heads. So I'll just show you that will go in right here. Okay, that locks in place. So this right here is a shroud just like the other one and it takes the dust and it pulls it into here in through here and then into this collection area right here. So let me show you how easy this is to pack up and bring to the job site and then I'll show you how it works putting this thing to the test. So this job wasn't too involved so I can get pretty much everything I need in one or two pack out crates. So we push this button right here and it'll come off the hammer back. All right, loosen that side handle right there. We'll fit in there. This fits in there. The battery, all the different parts that we need. So right there, everything's in the crate. And then one other tool that I brought along, this is really handy. This is the M12 portable bandsaw. You can cut all types of threaded rod all day long with this thing right here on a single charge. Then it always seems like there's some other hand tools needed, so I bring the pack out tote, which is loaded down with several things. All right, so let's go to that job site we're at before. We're gonna add in just a few more anchors just to thoroughly secure. It's gonna be overkill, but it'll be a good chance to test this out so you can see how it works. What I'm doing here is locating the spot where I want to drill the hole where I'm going to put the concrete anchor. I'm using a sharpie marker and going right above the copper line or close to it. And this setup is amazingly fast and there's no dust. Here's another look from a different angle. Now I'm setting the anchors. There's an anchor setting tool I don't have, so I'm just using a old Phillips screwdriver and a hammer to set the anchor. There's a pin inside. Now I'm taking the threaded rod and I'm gonna just screw it in and I need to figure out what length I want. I'm taking the Sharpie marker again, marked on the threaded rod. So I need to cut that. I'm gonna use this M12 compact bandsaw right here. This works really well for cutting that threaded rod, 3 8 rod. And that's the length I need right there. So I'm just going to screw it back into the anchor up there. And this is the rest of the assembly, the hanger part. It's a two part, two screws that go in. And that is a really solid connection, locking that pipe in place. Now here's a close look at the finished results. That should definitely hold it. All right, so what do you think about this OSHA compliant drill right here, the setup with the HEPAVAC? I think it's just really awesome having it all in one unit like this. Very amazing. So if you have any questions about this or any of the plumbing that I did, let me know. I'll be happy to respond. All right, so I just wanna say my goal of this video is to show you guys some of the best tools that are available for doing some of the jobs like I did today. So if you find this video to be interesting, helpful, and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.